It was a typical Monday morning. The sun was just beginning to rise over the horizon, and the birds were singing their morning song. I groaned and rolled out of bed, my feet hitting the cold wooden floor. I blinked a few times, trying to make sense of the world and the day ahead of me. I had a long day of classes and exams ahead of me, and I felt a bit overwhelmed already. I quickly got dressed and went to the kitchen to grab something to eat before school. I grabbed a banana, a yogurt, and a gra. Nola bar and threw them in my bag. It wasn't much, but it would have to do. I grabbed my backpack and headed out the door. As I walked down the street, I saw the same faces I had seen every day since I started high school. There was the girl with the bright pink hair, the guy with the ever-changing hairstyle, the quiet girl with the headphones, and the jock with the arrogant attitude. I smiled and waved to them all, but I knew deep down that I didn't really fit in with any of them. I reached Shu. L and quickly headed to first period. It was English, my favorite subject. I took a seat in the back and opened up my notebook. Before I knew it, the teacher was talking about Shakespeare and the class was discussing Othello. I was so engrossed in the conversation that I almost forgot about the upcoming test. I quickly gathered my thoughts and jotted down some notes. After English, I had math and then lunch. I met up with my friends and we chatted about our plans for the weekend. We talked about going to a movie and out for dinner. It sounded like a great plan. When lunch was over, I had to hurry to my next class. It was science, and I was dreading it. I had a hard time understanding the concepts and I was sure that I would fail the upcoming test. I sighed and took my seat, determined to make it through the class. As the day went on, I managed to make it through all my classes and tests. I was relieved that I had gotten through it without any major problems. When school was finally over, I rushed home to get ready for my evening plans. I was going to meet my friends at the local mall. We were going to check out some new clothes and maybe grab something to eat. I changed into my favorite jeans and shirt and put on some makeup. I put my hair in a messy bun and grabbed my bag. I was ready. When I arrived at the mall, my friends were already there. We looked around for a while and eventually found some cute clothes. We ended up buying more than we had planned, but it was worth it. We t. Hen decided to get something to eat. We went to the food court and got some burgers and fries. We talked and laughed as we enjoyed our meal. Afterward, we went to the arcade and played a few games. We had a great time. Finally, it was time to go home. I said goodbye to my friends and headed home. When I arrived, I changed into my pajamas and went to bed. I was exhausted from the long day. As I lay there, I thought about all the things that had happened that day. I had gotten through all my classes and tests. I had gone shopping and had a great time with my friends. I was content. It had been a long and tiring day, but it was worth it. I was proud of myself for making it through, and I knew that I could do it again. I was a teenage, and I was capable of more than I thought.